everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I'm back with yet another New Metal Monday where I talk about my favourite new releases of the week and I have another three albums that I want to talk about, which seems to be the magic number at the moment actually because it's been three for the last few weeks. But before I start talking about those, remember to check out the description box below where I will have a Spotify playlist linked and this will feature every single album that I talk about on my New Metal Monday videos unless it is a Bandcamp only release, but I'll make sure to get that noted. So if you do use Spotify, make sure you follow that playlist below. But if you don't use Spotify, don't worry about it because I will also be including the Bandcamp pages and the YouTube pages of the bands as well. But like I said, three brand new albums that I want to talk about and I'm just gonna jump straight in. Okay, so first up, of course, I have Ingested with The Tide of Death and Fractured Dreams and it's the seventh studio album from the UK-based Death Slam Metal Band. Now, I absolutely loved this record. This band have been completely obliterating the death metal scene for 18 years now and they just keep throwing out album after album and each album completely surpasses the last one. But as cliched as it sounds, I genuinely believe that this is the best album that they've done so far. Groovy slamming riffs, devastating breakdowns, really muscular attitude and pummeling blast beats. But not only that, they also experiment with a lot of melodic moments really cool, ethereal, otherworldly synthy moments and they have periods of clean singing as well interspersed between all of the deep guttural vocals but don't worry, it is primarily guttural rasps and screams. Also, they have guest appearances from the likes of Josh Middleton of Silosis and Mark Hunter of Chimera. So this is an album that you get a lot from, but it's also one that just keeps on giving. Every single time you listen to this album, you pick up on something new. And the great thing about this album is you can listen to it as an entire record, but the tracks work really well as standalone tracks in a playlist too. Now I actually wrote a full album review for this day in metal which you'll find in the description box below that breaks down every single track on the entire record in a lot more detail. But not only that, I also had an interview with the band's vocalist Jason which was a lot of fun and we get a lot of really cool insights into the new record as well as the metal scene in general so definitely check that out. But if you are a fan of the likes of Despised Icon, Aborted or Fit for an Autopsy, you're definitely going to want to get onto this one. Every single track on this record I love. There's something really cool on every single track, but one thing that stood out to me the most was Where No Light Shines. It starts off with this really creepy, eerie, ethereal synth before the guitars and the thunderous blast beats just annihilate everything. The riffs in this are incredibly addictive and that breakdown catches me off guard each and every time I listen to this track. So not only do you have all of this epic heaviness throughout the entire track, you've got those ethereal synths that are playing in the background too, which just adds a whole other layer of atmosphere. Love the album. Favourite track is definitely that one. Do not sleep on this one. Okay, so next up I'm going in a completely different direction now and I have Belore with Eastern Tales and it's the third studio album from the epic, symphonic, melodic black metal solo project from France. This made me feel things. This record made me really, not emotional, but it, it, it made me feel things and it took me off on a wee journey all by myself in my head. I adore this record. You have a lot of really cool ethereal moments, acoustic moments, beautiful floating flutes, wood instruments, orchestration, violins, really swelling dense atmosphere, but then make it black metal. So you have all of that frantic riffage, blistering blast beats, and a great combination of guttural vocals once again, but you also have clean soaring vocals, spoken word moments that are very haunting, and really atmospheric, creepy, choir, monastic chants as well. The guitar work in this is incredibly intricate, and some of the solos throughout this entire record are un- real. It's directly inspired by heroic fantasy and medieval times and you can really hear that throughout the entire record. 
It is a cinematic soundscape, lots of swelling, grandiose, opulent atmosphere and orchestration, and you do go on a journey. It captivates you and it takes you into a mysterious land. I loved this. It's equal parts beautiful as well as incredibly brutal. So if you like any of that symphonic, melodic, black metal genre that I've recommended on this channel, such as Dwarrel Delph or Far Beyond, and if you're also a fan of Sur or Summoning, you're definitely going to want to get onto this. I genuinely cannot choose one track off this record. They're all sprawling and each one tells a separate story of epic battles and grand adventures, but frantic riffage, deep demonic guttural vocals, blistering blast beats and the atmosphere is just incredible. Don't sleep on this one either, loved this. Okay, so last up on my list, but certainly by no means least, and I hope I'm pronouncing this band's name properly, I have Orcus with Dreadnought, and it's the second studio album from the Swedish modern death metal band. An absolute face melter. This ripped my face off and it beat me into submission. It does not hang around. It goes straight for the jugular with frantic riffage. This is a very riff driven record. Those deafening blast beats and really dense heavy bass lines. But the thing that stood out to me the most on this record was the vocal style. They sound like they come from the depths of hell itself. They are so powerful. They just completely obliterate everything in their path. But despite it being an incredibly heavy crushing record, there's something very enticing and catchy about it. And you just want to listen to it more and more and more. Plus they have a plethora of special guests on this record, including the likes of Soil Work and Man Must Die. So if you are a fan of any of those bands and if you add in a little bit of Omnivortex and a wee dash of Orbit Culture as well, this one is definitely the one for you. Dark Matter was definitely a standout moment for me on this record and it features one of the founding members of Soil Work, so that's Peter Wickers, and the guitar solo in this track is incredible. It just soars and it just grabs hold of you and does not let go. You have all of that blistering blast beat, the muscular attitudes, the epic riffage, the catchy tones in this and the really ominous deep guttural vocals but that guitar solo is what piqued my interest to begin with. So if you are a fan of really riff and guitar driven records that are so crushing and devastating at the same time, this one, you will not be disappointed. And that's it for this week's New Metal Monday. Once again, comment down below to let me know what you think of today's records. And if you have any of your own recommendations, let me know and I'll get them checked out. I know I say I've got new content coming and I really do. My university module ends at the end of May. So over the summer period, I will have a lot more free time to give you guys more content. So I'll have more top tens. I'll have more album rankings. My history series will start back up and I will also start my mythology series as well well. Like, share, subscribe. I really do appreciate your support. As always, it means the absolute world to me. Thank you so much and I will see you very soon in my next video.